Good afternoon. My name is Walt Griffin, Superintendent of Seminole County Public Schools, and I want to welcome you to our sixth Facebook Live. Today's topic is kindergarten and kindergarten registration. Um, this afternoon's um, Facebook Live will be presented in both English and Spanish. The Spanish translation will follow the English portion immediately. So the first question um, that we have is, how is Seminole County starting school this year? Well, right now, there are two options. Um, first of all, before we put any option in place, we follow the state guidelines. And following the state guidelines, families um, will have two options in Seminole County. The first option is the traditional face-to-face -face opportunity that we have always had, kind of what school looked like prior to the pandemic. Um, where students come to school, they're in classes um, full time, have lunch during the day and go home and so on. The second option, which we've always had but has not been utilized, although we think because of the pandemic there will be more interest in it, is our Seminole County virtual school option. And we encourage you um, to think about what decision is best for your family, the full time face to face or the full time virtual. If you're interested in virtual, please go to our website and look for Seminole County Virtual School, SCVS. Two great options taught by our great Seminole County teachers. At this time, I'd like to introduce Dr. Robin Dillinger, the Executive Director for Elementary Schools, and turn it over to Dr. Cummings, the second Executive Director for Elementary Schools. Dr. Cummings is going to walk us through the registration process. So Dr. Cummings, please proceed with that. So if you have not had the opportunity to visit our website at scps.k12.fl.us, please do so. That is where you will find the information for enrollment. So if you go to that site, scroll down to middle of the page where it says enroll in kindergarten, click on that enrollment tile. If your native language is Spanish, please click on the Espanol tile and all of this information then will be delivered to you in Spanish. It is important that you read all of the information to complete this easy one, two, three step process. So when you scroll down to enroll in kindergarten, you need to read step one very carefully and read the entire step one process. When you finish reading step one where it says, click on the link school search here and type in your home address, type in an address. Eleven eighty six. And it will take you to a listing of schools. So your schools will be listed there, your elementary, middle, and high school. If you type in your address and it takes you to a region school where it is region one, two, or three, please make note of that. Again, if it takes you to a region school, please make note that you are a region school versus a single zone school. At this point, you need to click on the back arrow which is in the top far left address bar to take you back to your previous screen. Again, going back to step one, if you were a region school, you will need to click on school assignment application process, read down through regions. If you are region one, these are your school options, region two school options, region three school options. At this point, you will need to complete the Seminole Choice application, and you will receive a response within 24 to 48 hours of your school assignment. At that point, you will receive that link with the information to move on to enroll your child. If not, and you were a single zone school, you will come back and proceed through step two. This means that you have your zone school and all of the documentation listed in step two needs to be um, nearby so that you have it available to complete your enrollment process. 
Due to COVID-19, we do understand that not everyone will be able to see their physicians um, at this time to obtain, obtain updated physical or medical immunization records prior to the start of school. Therefore, we have extended um, the timeline to permit enrollment. So please move forward with your enrollment, even though your documents need to be updated. You will be required to have those documents updated and supply the school with verification at a later date. Now you are ready to complete your kindergarten enrollment. Step three, if you are a new family to Seminole County Public School, click here to enroll. You will then be taken to the new student enrollment account where you will complete this entire application. And please note that the email address that you enter is the email address that will be used to send you your family access account information. And you will have to click on submit your online application after it is complete. If you are not um, a new student to Seminole County Public Schools and you have a child currently in our system, you have family access, then you need to click on the Enroll Here button and enter then your family access ID and logon. If you cannot remember that information, please use the forget your logon password ID to uh, obtain that information. And if for some reason you um, have a problem, feel free to contact the school um, to get the information of, uh, for your family access login. Once that is done and you complete family access login, you will then then go to your new student online enrollment and you will receive this information for your student access after you put your ID in. You need to click to enroll your student. Once you click on to enroll your student, the enrollment application appears. It is very important that you note the areas with asterisks. Those are required fields for completion. So this application will just walk you through. Please complete the information. It walks you through by steps. Complete step one and then move to step two. As you complete the steps, you will have a green check mark to show that you have actually submitted that information for that particular field. You are encouraged to work through the entire application. If for some reason you um, have to stop the application, feel free to click on save and continue to fill out so you can come back to this application later to complete the process. Step six is where you will upload all of the information that you have, your deed, your immunization, all of those fields are here to upload those um, documents. If for some reason you are unable to upload the documents from your system, please feel free to reach out to the school, make an appointment, um, and let them know that you want to bring those documents in to receive assistance to upload them into the application. Once that is completed and you have completed step seven, it will allow you to click submit application button. At that point, you are submitting your application to the district and you will receive a pop-up that says your application has been successfully submitted to the district. If for some reason you have questions or need support, feel free to reach out to um, the school. Thank you. Dr. Dellinger. So Dr. Cummings, we've had some questions about how do I know that I'm registered? So once you submit your application, the school will receive notice that they've received your application. They can be in touch with you if you have documents that you still need to provide and they will reach out to you. But if you want to know the status or if you have any questions, then it's, you can feel free to call the school. We are open during business hours for phone calls and appointments can be set for two days a week between 10 and 2, 24 hours in advance. School personnel will be happy to help you if you're having a problem uploading documents or if you just simply have questions that you want to ask. Another question that we've been asked is, why is it important to enroll my child now? Uh, and the reason we encourage you to enroll your child in kindergarten as soon as possible is that 
principals are making plans for the start of school. They're hiring teachers, and when teachers come back to work in, the, in August, they'll be setting up their classrooms. We want every child to have their teacher on the very first day of school. So it's important for us to know who is coming to our kindergarten. So we encourage you to enroll your child as soon as possible. Dr. Cummings, what about before school care or after school care? Yes. Um, our Kids Zone program will be operating when school starts. We will comply with the directives for social distancing um, as uh, permitted by the state. So all state recommendations around um, school care will be adhered to. And so I encourage parents to check the website, our Kids Zone program. There is information regarding registration. And just note, as we get closer to school, um, there'll be more updated information, but we will be following the recommendation from the state um, in the operation of our district-run child care program. Another question, Dr. Dillinger, that we have is, how old does my child have to be to enroll in kindergarten? So it's important to know that uh, statute requires that your child be five on or before September 1st. If your child is not five, then they'll need to have some other option and will not be able to enroll in kindergarten. Dr. Cummings, we've had a couple of questions about updating their address. If you have a particular address in Skyward, but you've moved over the summer, um, would you like to provide some more information about that? Yes. What you will need to do is take the required documents, which of course is your ID, and then updated documentation that could be lease, deed, um, current utility bill that um, states your address, your residence. Take those documents to the school, um, and they will verify that information so that you will be permitted to enroll your child in school. Another question that has appeared a couple of times is, um, I applied and received an assignment in a uh, region school, and I'm on a wait list for my preferred school, and what should I do? And so what's really important is that you register at the school to which you were assigned, and then should um, seats open up, um, then at that point in time, you would make uh, a transfer to that uh, school that you may, you know, uh, a seat may become available. All of that is conducted through our Student Assignment and Program Access Office, and they will be in touch with you should that occur. But that will be not until after school starts that those kinds of things would probably happen, so you need to go ahead and complete your kindergarten enrollment at the school to which you've been assigned. And as a reminder, if you have questions um, about the school, um, questions about your application, please feel free to contact the school. You are welcome to reach out to the school, and we will be more than happy to assist you. We have had some questions that are very individual to specific circumstances, and, and the best thing to do is what Dr. Cummings just said, to contact your school and, and let the folks at the school advise you and provide guidance for you. They will be happy to do that. And now we're going to ask for our summary in Spanish. Ms. Reza Cifante will uh, provide that for you now. Por Facebook en vivo esta tarde. Hemos abundado muchos temas en cuanto a la inscripción a kindergarten. Le voy a dar un breve resumen. Cualquier pregunta que tengan pueden llamar a 407-871. 11-15, esa es la línea en español para hispanohablantes. Nuestra reunión empezó con el superintendente, el, el doctor Walt Griffin, hablando sobre la pregunta que tienen todos los padres uh, para agosto. ¿Cómo van a abrir las escuelas? Bueno, primeramente tenemos que seguir uh, monitoreando las pautas que nos da el estado de Florida. Pero hasta hoy lo que sabemos es, es que vamos, pensamos ofrecer dos opciones a los padres. Uh, la primera sería uh, pues la escuela tradicional, que todos sabemos que uh, antes de la pandemia, ¿verdad? Que serían los estudiantes asistiendo el día completo dentro de la escuela. Otra opción sería 
uh, asistir la, escu la escuela virtual de Seminole County Public Schools. Vayan a la página web de, de nuestras uh, de escu las escuelas públicas de Seminole County para más información sobre la escuela virtual. También seguimos con el tema de la inscripción al kindergarten. El proceso de inscripción a kindergarten se lleva a cabo en línea. Vayan a nuestra página web de Seminole County Public Schools y la información se encuentra en inglés y en español. Recuerden que por la situación que atravesamos en este momento, no se requiere que suban los documentos de registro de vacunas o el examen físico. ¿Cómo una, una pregunta fue, ¿cómo sabemos si la inscripción está completa? Luego que terminen el proceso de la inscripción por internet en línea, hagan clic en el botón que dice enviar. Inmediatamente esa información llega a la escuela de, de, de la cual ustedes se inscribieron. Si tienen algunas dudas o preguntas, los padres pueden llamar a la escuela o hacer una cita con 24 horas de anticipación. Y están siempre disponibles para, uh, para responder a sus preguntas. Otra pregunta que se hizo fue, ¿por qué deberíamos inscribir a nuestros hijos lo antes posible? La respuesta fue, fue que recuerdan que los directores tienen que hacer decisiones en cuanto a la cantidad de maestros que necesitan y queremos tener a esos maestros ya listos cuando sus hijos llegan en, en agosto. Otra pregunta fue sobre el cuidado de los estudiantes antes o después de la escuela. Sí vamos a ofrecer ese programa todavía por el Kids Zone. Esta información también se encuentra en nuestra página web de Seminole County Public Schools. Claro que vamos a seguir todos los protocolos de, de salud um, y todas las pautas que nos da el estado. Otra pregunta fue en cuanto a si está en lista de espera para una escuela. La respuesta fue que deberían primero estar inscritos en, en, en la escuela que se asigna en cuanto a su zona. Y si están en una lista de espera, siempre pueden llamar al Departamento de Colocación Estudiantil y Acceso a Programas. Ellos le darán más información sobre eso. Otra pregunta fue sobre actualizar su dirección. Lo que tienen que hacer es, seguido que tienen esa, esa información, debe llamar, llevar esos comprobantes. Sería eh, el contrato de arrendimiento y la, una factura eléctrica y llevarla de electricidad um, a la escuela. Obviamente tienen que llamar antes para hacer uh, una cita. Ellos van a entonces a recolectar esa información, entonces ellos van a actualizar ese cambio de dirección. Como dije al, al principio, como el tiempo es limitado y abundamos muchos temas, um, queremos que ustedes sepan que vamos a publicar esta información en nuestra página web que tenemos para los padres de ISO también. Otra vez quiero des, dar el número también para la línea de asistencia en español, es el 407-871-1115. También pueden llamar al Departamento de Educación um, Elemental, que es el 407-320-0374. Muchas gracias por estar con nosotros esta tarde. Muchas gracias, señora Sifonte. And if you would like to call the Elementary Education Office, the number is 407-320-0374. Uh, Ms. Vanderweide will be happy to answer any questions that you have or refer you to the appropriate person who can help you. So that concludes our Facebook Live about kindergarten registration today. We hope you have a great weekend.